this video we are using JRC ECDIS and we're going to operate function pertaining to chart selection information and setting the first thing we're going to do is to load a specific chart and to do that let's go to lower left corner then press menu then press chart then select SP7 chart it will pop out a select chart window then just click the name of the chart then press ok and it will show you the chart or kind of the chart that, we, that is installed on this like this another way to check this AA chart named is to go again to menu then arrow down then chart maintenance then go to check the status of the charts so all of the status of the AA chart including all other charts are here on the chart maintenance the next is to select chart display categories and layers first we need to close this then press home go to show set show chart display setting then press chart display setting then view option pop-up menu will go then press view one then press next then all of the layers are indicated here you can also view number two then press next then all of the layers are indicated here these settings are for custom of display categories only next is to obtain chart object information again you need to use the mouse then press right click press cursor pick and a pick report will pop out so it will indicate that the pilot boarding place so in order to know which symbol is that you need to click that and it will highlight the object if you want to know the nautical publication information you just click that and it will highlight the object you can zoom it out how about the navigation line just click it so there you have it it will pop out the next is to manually test the major function of hardware keyboard mouse trackball sensor data and chart data so we can make a self test by pressing the menu then arrow down then press maintenance so we have a self test here so we have a key test just a moment key test we have a panel then stop key test we have sound test sound test we have also a light test memory check okay next is to adjust track link and precision so track link again go to menu then go to view then press option you can see view option here you have own track so you can change this fast track color time label pass position interval those are the track link next is to identify alarms and function status indication so for alarms you can go to chart setting display you can go to graphical indication setting for look ahead setting for special condition area so all of the alarms are in here you can change the caution or warning so those are the alarms and for anti-grounding safety contour you can go to depth safety contour you can change all of the parameters in here then you can view the chart common or plane so again to go back there is to go to depth safety contour then just change the 
parameters in here. Next is to open the log table. Go to menu, the logbook. So here are the user track or user task log. Navigation alert. So these are the alarms log. So that's it. Operate function pertaining to chart selection, information, and setting.